Tomorrow's manifest. So, Southampton should be good for a laugh. You'll need to be on your best behaviour. Oh, yeah. One of the directors is coming with you. All right. I hope you don't mind me raising this, Chris, but are you going to be able to get in and out of the cab, you know, we are, um... What are you talking about? Uh, Chris isn't going to be going with you, Frankie. Zoe. No way. Is there a problem? Was this your idea? Look, all she wants to do is get a taste of what it's really like. You know, on the open road, on an overnight trip. What's his sexual harassment? Hey, that is a disgraceful accusation. You have no reason to believe that Zoe's motives are anything other than purely professional. Isn't that right, Chris? Yeah, yeah, and the rest. Paddy, I'm going to have to be off for the next couple of days. Can you cover for me? You are? Well, I don't know. I mean, you could have given me a bit more notice. Well, I only knew myself last night. It's haulage business. And I thought that wasn't going to interfere with the practice. This is important. I won't make a habit of it, I promise. What's all this about? I beg your pardon. Peace. You trying to worm your way into my... You know what I'm talking about. Do I? OK, so why have you booked yourself in for an overnight with me to Southampton? It looks a bit fishy to me. If I remember rightly, it was you who suggested that I learned a bit about tracking before I started messing with the business. I'm just taking your advice. I'm sorry, did I misunderstand you? So long as you keep your hands to yourself. Fine. <clears throat> You've made your feelings very clear. And I can reassure you that I have no intention of putting my hands anywhere that they are not wanted. Good. Well, that's clear. I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Paddy, is there something you wanted to say? <laughs>